knee-jerk kind of usages with spikes, while with the randomized scheme it was more continuous, so no spikes, and we have the system in a better health. The other point here is, here we assume that we indeed have infinite amount of bandwidths. We can tolerate those spikes. But actually in a real system, that will lead to congestion and it may actually make the system even worse. That's something we hadn't looked at in this scheme. Okay, so that's another maintenance scheme. Um, surprisingly, somebody came up with another good idea. Uh, very radically, radically different. What we had seen so far are all reactive techniques. Like if things go wrong, we'll do something. And how can we do it more efficiently and so on. What this strategy says um, is that if bandwidth, and again, these are systems built with the assumption that flat, flat rate pricing scheme and so on. So if I have the bandwidth, why not use it anyway? Even if I don't need maintenance, why not keep adding more redundancy? Of course, then you may end up uh, using infinite amount of storage space, so there is a higher ceiling that you need to put up and say, if I have already achieved even more redundancy, I stop and keep hitting the ceiling. Then you also need some kind of garbage collection schemes. That's because irrespective of whether you detect whether it's a temporary or permanent churn or not, or whether you use these lazy replication, lazy and randomized uh, lazy maintenance schemes where you don't even bother to see if it is how long it has been away, you just see the number of nodes being away to make a ju judgment. What can happen is uh, nodes may come back online with the redundancy they had and you may want to remove it or not. Okay. And it has different implications. The redundancy that comes back has different implications depending on the kind of redundancy you use. If you use replication, one more redundancy is more redundancy. You can use it as well. Okay? But if it is eraser code, and if the 18th fragment was missing and you have already replenished it, then the new 18th fragment doesn't add to the diversity, which is what you need. So it has a different meaning. On the other hand, if you are using reckless eraser codes, then when the 18th block was missing, you had created a 33rd unique fragment. So the 18th one still adds the diversity. So it has a different implication. Now, if you do have even eraser codes, and you have now two copies of 18th block, it's not totally useless either. Because if, again, one of the two nodes go offline, you still will have one of them available. So that kind of gives a replication on top of, replication of the eraser fragments itself. So, but, if you keep all those redundancies, you will have extra storage over it. So you have to decide what kind of, uh, um, where, how much redundancy do you keep? When do you start making garbage collection? Okay. So 